My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is a tent from Nature Hike. This is the Bear Ultralight Two Person Tent. This is a very interesting tent. I've not seen a design like this before. I've seen similar, but not exactly the same. This is unique. This episode is all about this tent. It is a first look and it begins right now. To start off folks, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the components that are included. Then we will set it up and then go over the features. With this tent, you do receive a ground sheet. Here we have the storage bag for the tent. You do have a handle at the bottom, a draw pull at the top. This is the tent itself. Moving to the poles, everyone, we have three of them. And let me tell you all, they are huge. They are incredibly long poles. Check this out. So here's the tip, right? <laughs> Look at how big, how long that is. This has to be one of the longest poles for a tent that I've ever seen before. Okay, so you have the two long poles and you also have this short pole. Next up, we have the tent stakes. Four guy lines and here are the tent stakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With this tent, it features pole sleeves. Luckily, they are very smooth. They're not grippy like some tents. Now folks, this is very interesting. So we have this shorter pole, right? Pull back the fly. Up here at the top, there's a hole in this tent. You have a grommet. Slide the pole through and then guide it all the way across. Come over to the other side, put the pole into this grommet. Then come over to the side that you started on, take the pole, put it in the grommet. But I can tell you all, it's not easy to do this. With the tent being set up, check this thing out. I mentioned before that it's different and you can see that. This is a single wall tent, two gigantic doors, internal flies, just like the one tiger Skyena tent. Is that a good thing? I don't know, we shall see. The most striking thing about this tent, there's actually two things. One are the doors, they're gigantic, they fully unzip. You can have the mesh just like this. You can have a crosswind that's going through this tent that's absolutely unreal. Next up, the size of this tent. This tent is gigantic. I mean, it really is. As far as measurements go, I have my tape measure. Let's measure this out. So right at 52 inches wide, that's over four feet. 38 inches tall, that's over three feet. It is 88 inches long, which is over seven feet. This, my friends, is a very big tent. The weight of this tent is 4.6 pounds without the ground sheet. With the ground sheet, it's over five pounds. When it comes to the materials, the tent fly is a 20 denier silicone treated nylon. And it features what the company calls a lattice cloth. I really don't know what that means. I think they're talking about a ripstop nylon. I've never seen a company describe fabric in this way. Inside of the tent, you're looking at a 20 denier nylon check cloth. Again, I think they mean ripstop, but I really don't know. It features B3 breathable mesh, 700D aluminum poles, and also aluminum stakes. According to Nature Hike, this tent features a 3000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. And when it comes to available colors, you're looking at blue and green. Now everyone, let's talk about price. The price of this tent on the Nature Hike website is $190. The footprint is included. On AliExpress, it is $140. There are no vestibules. There are two vents, one at each side. It features two doors, as mentioned before. And the small pole that goes through is referred to as the hanging pole. I've never seen that before. That is definitely different. I've seen hanging lines. I've never seen a hanging pole. Taking a look at the inside of the tent here, you can see that it has a bathtub floor and that sticks up roughly four inches. 
You have mesh pockets at both ends for phones, keys, and so on. There are the vents. This one is closed. This one is open. These can be opened and closed from the inside of the tent. That is somewhat of a unique feature, and it works just like this. Basically, you push this through and then Velcro it in place. So now let's talk about these doors and the internal flies. So first off, you have mesh on the outside. You have this nylon check fabric or lattice fabric, whatever they call it, on the inside. You could zip it up and have only the mesh up, but the door, you can roll it up and get it out of the way. But let's say that it begins to rain. That's when you can close the fabric. You can see that on the outside, you have a storm flap that goes over the zippers. Now, unfortunately, these are not waterproof zippers. So if the wind is blowing strong enough, it could blow water and rain behind this flap through that zipper and into the tent. As I mentioned before, the two big standouts are the doors and the size. I mean, this thing is massive. If, if you're a tall individual and you can get a tent like this to work for you, I mean, hey, this is definitely an option. And also it's an option that's not very expensive. 140 from AliExpress, 190 from Nature Hike. That's not bad, assuming that this is waterproof. That is something that I need to test out. That's a big question mark for myself. Again, this is a tent that features internal flies. Traditionally, internal flies, they leak. Do I think this tent is going to leak? In certain situations, it will without a doubt. But the question is, just how strong of a storm can this handle? Will it handle your average summertime pop-up storm? Can it handle some wind? Together, we will find out. Going over my impressions so far, the overall quality looks to be pretty good. I've seen one loose thread, that's it. As far as the setup goes, that process takes some work. There's a learning curve to it. These poles crisscross, and it is somewhat of a chore to get them into place. When you're sliding those poles in, it can be frustrating and also a little bit confusing. Plain and simple, it takes time. When it comes to the hanging pole, you pretty much have to bend it down and then connect it when you've moved on to the final grommet. You can see with this top fabric, it is under quite a bit of tension. So as far as the setup goes, it's not the easiest. Another question that I have for this tent is how bad is the condensation going to be? With it being a single wall tent, there's a potential there for it to be rather bad, but luckily this tent does have dual vents and also you have these large doors, which can be kept partially open even in a rain event. Because on each side of the tent you have this material that sticks out, you should be able to have this open somewhat unless the wind is blowing the rain. I will of course test out that aspect and others as I move forward with my testing of this tent. Now speaking of which, this was a preview. Don't go out and buy this yet. Let me test it out. I don't want to see anyone make any mistakes when it comes to their money. So give me some time, allow me to test this out, and I'll share with you all my thoughts, my feelings on it. I will share with you all the overall performance of this tent. So coming up soon, I will have a setup episode that goes over the setup process. If you're considering this tent, I would make sure to watch that episode because this is a troublesome setup. It does take some work. After the setup episode, we'll move on to the rain testing. That will be the test night episode. Waterproofness, condensation, ventilation. Okay, if I had to make a guess, I would say this tent is going to be waterproof. Nature Hike generally does an excellent job with waterproofing. I'm done talking, everyone. Now it's your turn. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this tent? What do you all think about the design? Is the fact that it's a single wall tent a deal breaker? What do you all think about the internal fly? What do you all think about the size of this thing? It is gigantic. <laughs> this is a huge tent. That pretty much wraps it up for this episode. Hit the like button before you go. The channel is agenda free. I'm here to share information, not sell products. That's why I say, hold off, don't buy this yet. Let me test it out. Unless you just want to purchase it, that's up to you. But I'm going to begin testing this out, give you all my thoughts and opinions. That's coming soon. I appreciate you watching. Take care, strength and honor. Bye for now. <laughs>